my name is Darius Mitchell. I'm the CEO of Embargo Inc. Uh, Embargo Inc. is uh, my own creation uh, company I created to talk about media and political issues that affect our communities. Today, Embargo is launching a gun violence tour of Massachusetts to document, we run a video document uh, how gun violence affects our communities. We want to do a gun violence tour across Massachusetts, uh, specifically on four cities, Springfield, Boston, Worcester, and Lowell. We want to uh, document how gun violence affects communities, uh, innocent victims of gun violence, uh, gun violence victims like uh, Jamarcus Pena. He was a nine-year-old at home one day with his 14-year-old uh, brother. His 14-year-old brother was playing with a gun and accidentally shot his nine-year-old brother. Or victims like Ryan Morsey, uh, a 17-year-old from Medford that was shot in Charlestown uh, earlier this fall. Gun violence victims like uh, Dawn Haffier, a UMass Amherst graduate, a Boys and Girls Club counselor, a Boston public school teacher who was going to the Caribbean Festival, the annual Caribbean Festival in Boston, and she was hit by a stray bullet at eight in the morning. And we want to tell those stories. We don't want those stories to disappear. We want to find out the causes of those stories and hopefully uh, stop some of the, you know, year after year, innocent people being shot. And that's what we want to do. We want to document gun violence in Massachusetts, bring that political issue to the forefront. And hopefully, you know, we can slow down or even stop gun violence in our communities. I just cannot understand how in a country as great as America, why so many young people choose the way of gun violence, carrying guns and gangs. You know, every American should be upset when a nine-year-old is shot, when a public school teacher is shot. Here in Lowell, there was two brothers, uh, Keith and Joseph, Callahan, and this summer, a gunman came in their house. He was in the wrong house. Comes in their house with a gun, forces Keith and Joseph in the bathroom at gunpoint. So it was all a misunderstanding, but the brothers had, a, one of their young daughters was sleeping in the other room. So they had to come out of the bathroom and they were shot. It's a mistaken identity. You know, how is that going to affect our, uh, you know, that 11 year old, her classmates, her school, our community? You know, I didn't know the brothers, but, you know, this is my community. And, you know, I, I have brothers, I have cousins, I have kids. And, I don't want to accept that for my community. I don't want to accept that for your community.